Hey guys, due to YouTube analytics, majority of the people that watch the videos are non-subscribed. And since this is a very small channel, you subscribing is the only motivation I have. So if you end up liking the video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Let's get into the video. Catch all that much. That is where this hero thr thrives. Plus his laning stage has been uh, nerfed through, through the years. His base stats have been taken away. I should get a nightmare out onto Zyax, the bane. Trying he's to in trouble. Of getting the first blood. Rambo May is now committed. Zyax trying to do his best, but he's getting body blocked by Mepushka. And Satanic will get the first blood. Very nicely drawn from him, but set up. You want that Aghanim Scepter as fast as possible. It can uh, make or break your game. Another big deal. The Bane on his way back to the top lane. He blocked their Ancients. And, you know, seeing a TA in a game where she can't have Ancient sex, ready and waiting for her, will definitely have an impact. For sure, right, especially because she doesn't crush the lane versus the Invoker any longer. We'll see though, Laurel has uh, has had some bad laning performances yesterday, so maybe Sanctity can make use of that. Mm. We'll have to come back and check in a couple of minutes once they start picking up some levels. For now, Sanctity is doing well, has more CS and denies, but it's only the first few waves, so it will be liable to change. Yeah, we'll see if uh, if Laura will be doing well here. Nice tornado usage. It's, uh, that's beautiful. Taking a look at bottom. But Sento and the Dark Willow taking on Clockwork with the Wind Ranger. And uh, the Clockwork, him and the Dark Willow just trading spells. But coming back he into was in the trouble. RG, he's in a bit of danger here. The power shot does connect. But the correct parting was taken by Rude. That being said, Puppy is not going to give up on this chase. Eight seconds until he has battery assault. While Zayek ends up dead in the top side of the map. Will Rude be able to outplay Puppy here? I doubt it. There we go. Battery assault is out. But the Brambles do Rude. This is happening again in the other game on the Sniper. Completely outplayed the side of Na'Vi to get out of certain doom. And now it happens again. Wasting so much time from the clockwork. And in the meantime, top lane, King and Bane putting the abuse onto these Navi heroes. Yeah, we talked a little bit about the Bane's laning stage not really being as strong as it used to be, but he still has pretty decent stats, right? Solid damage, so solid armor, movement speed, and HP. And then when you pair him up with a hero like a Bristleback, who naturally also dominates the uh, the lane, you apply a lot of potential pressure to the uh, to the opponents. Also, Gwen putting in some attention onto Zyax now. He is five seconds again. away from having Impale. You know, take a lot of damage here. King, one more quill spray is all he'll need. He's chasing onto the high ground. He does not have boots, but he's not gonna need them. That's gonna be a lion dead. Can he at least get to the runes? No, he can't. Oh man, that's just so depressing. Came so close, but you Death does bring down the Dark Watch Willow, them. now here comes Satanic. Fiend's Grip is out onto the Kunga. Beautiful. Nice Shackle to cancel it out and to connect onto the Bristle. Huge. But an even better hold stop. Four 
the heroes connected into you thanks to Malik. That being said, though, nobody there the damage to kill them. So now Wind Ranger, she can go in with the world when they've already managed to bring down three. Wrestle back and pay, and they have to run. They did such a good job. This entire fight, I think, carried by Yuragi. That shackle shot prevents King from getting in all that bristle back damage from the Aghanims. It means that these heroes get to stay alive. They get to re-engage. They get to win these fights. But now, oh my god! The Aghanims damage onto Sanctity! Holy base, Satanic! He's like, y'all can win the fight, but I'm not letting you win this war. Yeah, he's going forward. He's not allowing the tower to fall. It just goes to show how strong this uh, Bristleback is. The rest of his team, not so much, but he is above everybody else. Yep. Now he's just going to the far side here, Satanic. Feeling hella strong, throws out the Bristleback. The Quilt nice. Rage just kill Yoragi. My man is just way too strong right now. Poppy hooks into him, but Poppy... Uh, maybe you should have hooked in a different direction, my friend. Not the person you want to be in front of. He ends up dead. And The 16 Weeha uh, lower bracket final. Oof. That's a good one. That's a good one. And now, though, Puppy, he's getting assaulted at the moment. They bring their damage out on top of him. He will easily end up dead. And this is right in front of the Roshan. Okay, okay, so he's gonna be doing a decent amount of damage. I think it's it's necessary for him. Well, Puppy trying to escape here with a jetpack. Not gonna be able to get away easily, but does commit the full hook shot. Unfortunately for him, though, King right behind him and Satanic. Well, Chase is on. Caught on the wrong side. Nice little dodge of the power shot with the nightmare, but he still ends up dead. In the meantime, though, here comes King from behind. He wants to initiate this, but caught with the torrent as the stampede hit. So they didn't have a way to get him forward. They might chase this. Yeah. I mean, why not? Two supports are dead. Two supports are dead, and you still have this TA on the high ground with good vision. Late mail coming out onto Malik, but the Hound Spike holds him in position. Even better cogs from Poppy. The terrorize, though. Thrown in by Rue. Rue dissuade them from going forward more. He's too strong. Shutting away will end up dead. And King, although there was an amazing power call, great setup from Navi. She now has the Blink D-Launch with the, the Decimator, but they're gonna try and punish her for not having BKB at this moment in time. They find her in the river, and they absolutely corral and kill her. Big one. Right, while she's dead, King needs to uh, be aggressive, and he is being aggressive, but you, uh, you can't get much. There's two, two supports of Navi. King, really? <laughs> <laughs> you said he must be aggressive, bro. What? me more and more that he's gonna get kited in this game all right now they're going on to the kunker one of the primary kite mechanics might be removed from play if they can kill off this pirate he does not have back lines pipe. he doesn't have bkb he can't do anything but on the back line there's your argue with his bkb going all over the show with the world Again. and they burst through the invoker now they've isolated king can they kill satanic so no. far no bueno because they end up losing this lion yoragi with wind run He's forced to just go to the north side of the fight. He's got to get the hell out of here. Ru kills off Puppy with another Bedlam. And now look at the Sanctity. Held in position. He can go nowhere.
while this Bristleback was sieging their tier 3. They didn't even kill the Tommy. And they had to go back to base to heal up. So just a straight up 3 tier 3 tower. Rax falling very low as well with the Alacrity buff up onto the PB. The range has fallen. Nine seconds until the Templar is back, but still four minutes with the Ages. They're gonna try and get those melee racks. TA, Spawning, and Team Spirit. They're like, you know what, guys? We have seen this movie many, many times. It's, uh, it's smarter to just go for the uh, for the long route to victory. Get some stuns out onto him, but Bristleback, man. Tanic still chilling. Still seem insistent on playing down bottom because they're gonna smoke. They put a little bit of vision onto Sanctity. In the meantime, though, look at this. The Bristleback, Satanic, don't do it. Right the base, and uh, like you said, don't do it, y'all. He's already killed off this lion. And now, what else can happen here? How much further can they go? This Wind Ranger Why? with the Fiend's Grip. She ends up dead. There's no buyback available for Yuragi. Bristleback, happy to die because that's just an Aegis. Now he comes back, has BKB at the ready, and they still want to go for it. They hit him with the, the tide, bring him closer to He's going to go into the fountain. BKB is in the fountain. This is the worst place to be. Oh, no. You signed your own death warrant. And that, I think, actually might be the game. No buyback on the Wind Ranger. I mean, Kunga can buy back, but how do they deal with this bristle? There is still a glyph you can say sometime, Team Spirit. The bristle is low, but I guess this block. Mega creeps are about to be available now. If they can finish this off and they jump on the Sanctity, the TA. She doesn't have a defensive item, she's just gone. Both into buying back. Puppy starts the fight on the back. They go in with the whirlwind, but there's just no damage from this Wind Ranger. She dies like it's nothing. Puppy though, with the chain disabled, they managed to kill all Fane Elemental and now Rue too. So hopefully no they can find the Invoker. Invoker falling low, but Sanctity ends up dying back. They can't even get on top of Laurel. The Tide bring a cleave. Invoker out of range, out of distance. Use the tidal wave, bringing back the bristle, but there's absolutely no way that they can kill him. GG, well played, has been called. Navi has thrown in the towel, and this is their last game because they've now been eliminated from the Dream League Season 24 qualifiers. And Team Spirit, with their King Bristle back, show that they're good for the money. They continue on their road to Dream League. I guess they're not back, but Spirit, this is the type of games, this is the type.